Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead.
You're a very good shot. I have to say you're a heck of a lot better than most I see around here. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim like he was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Any other interesting elements in the case? Ah, one more detail. The killer then used the knife to carve some symbols on his own forearm. Very weird stuff. It looked like a, a snake or a serpent. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had, until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. A decision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that, even if he'd been a surgeon.
Excellent target. Looks like you're a natural. Then what happened? You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. And the man who killed Kirsten, whatever became of him? His name is Janos. He lost his mind. They've got him locked up in Bellevue. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. I'd worked good and hard on the investigation, done everything Carla had asked. Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball. And also sell the little score I had with Jeffrey. Yo, nice threads, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out in that shit. Right. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. Yes! Now that was pure poetry in motion.
hits the lane. He drives in. He scores. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day. Yo, you D up pretty good for a white cop. You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned I did some ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know, and that's why you like me, Jeffrey. Thank you.